Hello friends, welcome again. In this video, I will talk about how we can extend the REST API. So pre in the previous videos, we have seen the basics uses of the REST API, then internal workings of the REST API, right? So now in this video, we will learn about extending the REST API. So there are multiple ways uh, to extend the REST API. Okay, so let's first uh, learn about modifying the responses okay so to modify the responses like we already have like wordpress already provides the default endpoints for the post uh, pages um, then taxonomies a custom taxonomies and uh, and the custom post types as well but how we can um, how we can register our custom like how we can modify the responses or how we can add a custom fields to to the responses right um, so there are like in the previous videos we have seen that there are multiple uh, filters and actions are available which we can use to modify uh, the modify the rest API responses but there are two another uh, ways to modify it so first is the register rest field and then second is the register meta okay but important note about changing response is that changing or removing uh, the data from a core rest api endpoint responses can break plugins or wordpress code behavior and should be avoided wherever possible so that's true because like our for example our block editor are uh, using the rest api to perform the crowd operation right so if we remove the default uh, uh, properties or the key value pairs from the responses then it probably break the uh, break the overall uh, block editor functionality probably right so we have to be more careful on that if we need to modify then probably we can register a custom fields like the cust uh, uh, custom raised field to uh, to add some other uh, custom data instead of modifying the uh, default fields right so that will be we will see how we can uh, we, we can do that one okay so uh, for example uh, so there are two difference okay uh, using uh, in the register rest field and the register meta so register rest field used to add arbitrary fields to any rest api response okay and can be used to both read and the write data using the api so uh, the, in the rest field you can add any custom fields uh, okay and you you can have options to get or pre, uh, prepare the a data for that rest field and you can uh, you can give uh, you and that data will be added into the rest api response okay and the register meta is used to whitelist an existing custom meta values for access through the rest api so like uh, in one of the videos we have seen how we can add a register of meta boxes right and how we can add a custom meta boxes so for example in the movie post type we have added a meta box for the actors where we we can select the number of a uh, number of actors for uh, who has uh, like uh, like acting at, acted in the in that movie right so uh, how we can so that meta by default won't be uh, uh, displayed or available into the rest api response but to make it available then we have to register that meta using the register meta function okay so register meta function is used to have to to add a custom meta box or uh, custom meta information uh, which are saved into the po uh, meta tables right and the register meta table will work with the different types of meta tables available for example post or term meta user meta and comment meta okay and the register rest field is like independent of the meta so in the register rest field uh, you can add any custom fields you want to add and you can uh, you can prepare the data to pro to display into the response so we will see uh, we will go through it okay so um, so there are some uh, important notes here that prior to wordpress 4.9 uh, 8 4.9.8 version meta field set to show in rest using the register meta are registered for all objects of a given type for example let's say in in, uh, in our movie post type uh, example uh, we have registered actors meta box right and that meta box we only registered for the mo uh, movie post type and that meta box is not required for other post types like default post and uh, person post types right so uh, previous uh, before the 4.9.8 version uh, uh, if we register a meta then it will it available for all the post types including the default and the custom post types but as of 4.9.8 it's possible to register a meta with an object subtype so we have we can provide a post type slug okay and then then that meta only will be displayed um, 
uh, available into that uh, post type uh, REST API response. Okay, so we will also see in, uh, within examples. Okay, and uh, prior to 5.3, so before the 5.3 version, register meta could only support scalar values like string, integer, number, and a boolean. Okay, but uh, uh, since 5.3, it also adds supports for the object and array type. So, like when we register a meta, we can also provide a schema. Uh, which will uh, validate our uh, uh, output of that meta field. Okay, so that we will also see. So let's go through that uh, step one by one. So um, if you go here in the field, uh, like this is our uh, uh, our REST API route for the, our uh, movie post type where we have changed the REST base to film instead of the movie. Okay, uh, so here if you see there are three movies uh, have been uh, uh, fast from the database. Um, and but here we want to add a meta information by default meta if you uh, there, there is no meta key or meta information into the response okay so how we can do that so for that first of all uh, we have to register a custom add a custom field supports here we have to add a custom uh, field supports okay then and then only the meta information will be displayed into the um in the rest api response so if we now refresh here then now you can see that meta information is empty okay here is meta information is empty okay so now if you um so now what about like meta information is empty but our custom meta information is not displayed which is the actors right we have saved the list of the actors ids into the movie post meta okay so how we can do that so for that uh in the uh there are i have registered mlb register meta function okay and i have hooked that function onto rest api endpoint okay so i'm just uncommenting this now okay so here i have called so there are multiple so register meta register post meta and register term meta okay so uh, register meta function is you uh, you can use and uh, uh, if you want to register a meta only for a post type uh, then you can use or any like default post or a custom post type you can use register post meta function and for term uh, taxonomy terms uh, meta you can use a term meta but behind the scenes these two function uses the register meta so to and now we uh, currently we need to uh, register a, a meta uh, register we need to register meta for the post okay so i i'm using the register post meta so if you go to the function definition it's it's added from in the 4.9.8 version okay so prior to that uh we we have to use register meta directly okay so here you can see the post type what post type we need to register a meta key for and uh, pass an empty string to register the meta key across all the existing post type so if you have any meta information which is you know like we sometimes we also have a meta boxes like a gallery video gallery or photo gallery and uh, that can be used any uh, in multiple post types like post movie or person and any other custom post types and if you want to add that meta information into the rest api response for all the post types then you can simply pass the post type key uh, as a false okay so it will be registered for all the post custom post types okay uh, but it will also register for all the custom post types if some of the custom post types registered by the third party plugin so in that plugin also it will be registered so maybe you may need to clear uh, pass the post type okay um then the meta key what meta key we want to register and see it should be a same meta key which is displayed into the uh, our post meta table okay and the various arguments so and if you want to say about arguments so you can go to the register meta defi function definition now you can see here uh, there are a couple of uh, nodes like in which in which versions they have added some of the uh, arguments and modified this function okay so this is very helpful to go through it then you can see the object type the type of the metadata which is for post comment term and user so object type means we have uh, like four object type post uh, like which is going to custom post type comments for the comments term for the taxonomy terms or uh, whether it's a category tags or custom taxonomy and the user where we also have a user meta table okay so we like we are registering for a custom post type we have to keep it post meta okay as an object type uh, and then the our meta key and in the arguments you can see the object subtype which we are passing the uh, custom post type so here we have passed um the movie okay so movie power post type and then actors and 
this register post type will save this post type into the object subtype and then it will pass the register metadata post which is our object main object type then object subtype as an argument which is our custom post type in which we want to display our we need to register a meta okay and then meta key and other arguments okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress